Hello all. Today I am going to teach you the topic decimals. But before starting this video, let's capitulate fraction. What is in my hand? An apple. Now, suppose I will cut this apple into 10 pieces. Here, I cut the apple into 10 pieces. Now, if I will just eat this part, then how much I am eating? I have eaten 1 tenth of an apple. 10 pieces are there and from that 10 pieces, I have eaten 1 piece. Okay? So, how much I have eaten? 1 tenth. Okay? How we will write this? 1 tenth. Right? Now, we will just recapitulate the place values. Like, I have an apple. How many apples I have? One apple. So, what is the place value of this one? Once. Okay. Now, suppose I have 156 apples. 356 apples. So, how we will place these digits according to their place values? This 6 is placed at 1's position. This is at tens and this is at hundreds. So here I have made the place value chart. You can see this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands place. Now how we used to denote ones as one, tens as ten, hundreds as hundred, thousands as thousand and ten thousands as 10,000. Okay? So, have you observed anything here? The pattern that this is the right side of the place value chart and this is the left side. So, what is the pattern in this? If we are just moving from the right to left, then each place value is increasing by 10 times. Means, if it is 1, then if we have to move to the left side, then we have to multiply this one by 10. Then we will get 10's position. Okay? We have to multiply it by 10. Now, again, if we have to move from 10's place to the 100's place, means left side, again we have to multiply this 10 by 10. Then after we will reach 100's place. So, here again we are multiplying by 10. Similarly like that, we will do for all the place values. We have to multiply each place value by 10 times to reach the next left position. Okay. Now, what we have to do if we want to move from left side to right side? If we have left side right, then what do we do? Right se left jane ke liye to each place value 10 times bad raha hai. But left se right jane ke liye we have to change the operation. Like here we are going from right to left. Now we are changing the direction just opposite left to right. So what is the opposite of multiplication? It is division. So, so if we want to move from left to right. Then what we have to do? We have to divide each place value by 10. Okay. Then we will reach the next right place value position. Okay. As I have shown you in the beginning of video, I have eaten 1 tenth of the apple. Okay. 1 tenth. Now, what is the place value of this one tenth? So, it is smaller than one. Smaller than one's position. So, it should go at the right side. 
अब इसका प्लेस वैल्यू तो राइट साइड में होगा ये तो हमें पता चल गया क्योंकि ये वन से छोटा है लेकिन कितना होगा सो टू नो अबाउट द प्लेस वैल्यू दैट जस्ट कम्स आफ्टर वन प्लेस मीन्स एट द राइट साइड वॉट वी हैव टू डू We have to divide by ten. So if we will divide one by ten, then what we will get? One by ten, then one tenth we will get, isn't it? So the next place value will be tenth. Here I have written tenths, and this is tenth. How we will denote this tenth? One upon ten. Okay. Now. If again we have to find out the place value of this side, then what we have to do? Again we have to divide this tenth by ten. Again we have to divide this by ten. To know about the place value that will just come after the tenth place at the right side. Okay. So if we will divide one ten by ten, then what we will get? We will get One upon hundred, and this we will write as hundred. Okay, this is hundred. This is hundred. Now, again, if we want to know about the place value that will just come at the right side of the hundredth place, again we have to divide it by ten. And if we will divide hundreds by ten, then we will get one thousand. And we will write it as thousand. I hope this is clear to you. Now, suppose I have taken one number. Like four, three, seven, eight, nine. Now, how we can place these digits according to their place values? This nine will go at ones position. This eight will go at tens position, hundreds position, thousands position, and ten thousands position. Okay. Now suppose one more digit I'm writing here. I'm writing here five, and I'm telling that this five is at tenth position. So how you will differentiate between ones and tenth? That this five is placed at tenth position. How we will find out? So there is a boundary between ones and tenth. And between ones and tens, there is a point, and this point is called as decimal. Okay, so if I'm just showing that this five is at tenth position, then we have to give a point, a decimal between ones and tenth. Okay, understood? Okay, now here one number I have taken sixty three point fifty two. how we will represent these numbers this this is on the place value chart this 3 will go at ones position and this 6 will go at tens position okay now we have seen here decimal this is the boundary wall between ones and ten now the digit that just comes after the decimal we have to write under the tenth column and the digit after that we have to write under hundredth column Okay, now how we will read this number? We will read as sixty-three The number that are coming just after decimal, we have to read it separately. We cannot combine these these numbers and can tell fifty-two. Sixty-three point fifty-two. We cannot say. We have to read the numbers separately. Sixty-three point five two. Okay, understood this. I hope you liked this video. In the next video, I will teach you how to write the fractional number in decimal.
like this is 1 by 10. So, how we will write these fraction into decimal. So, keep watching the video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.